Did you know that there is a key mineral that you might be deficient in that is causing premature graying or gray hairs to start popping up? If you find you are experiencing hair graying or premature gray hair and you're under the age of 60 and 65, today I'm gonna to share with you the key mineral you need to optimize that will help your hair maintain its color. Let's go. Friends, the most important mineral to prevent and even reverse premature graying is a mineral called copper. Copper is a critical mineral that your body uses to produce melanin. Copper is a cofactor for certain enzymes used in the melanin, your hair color production. And in a deficient state, it leads to graying hair. And I'm gonna tell you something that is really insane. Most of the time, like 99.9% .9 of individuals, grown adults, we are not even being tested for our copper levels. And this creates a deficiency and a situation unnecessarily where you're getting little gray strands coming in prematurely. Now with copper and its influence on your hair color and, and minimizing your graying, the state of both copper deficiency and copper imbalance is extremely common. Here's why copper is so critical for optimal hair health, but also for optimal hair color. Copper is an essential trace mineral that is required for synthesizing specialized cells here in your hair follicle called melanocytes. And these melanocytes sit inside your hair follicle. And copper is also necessary for enhancing your iron uptake in your stores of iron. So if you have hair loss and graying, copper deficiency definitely is a factor here. And copper deficiency creates a situation where oxidative stress, everyday stressors, overwhelm your hair follicle and negatively impact these melanocytes or melanocytes, creating oxidative stress that leads to premature graying. That means melanin stores, these reserves, the kind of conversion of certain proteins are not there to help your hair follicle grow colored hair. And we start to see the gray or the silver strands popping through. There's also genetic factors. And sometimes it's a genetic predisposition where copper metabolism is minimized, or there's that genetic variation in these two genes, ATP, 7A and ATP 7B influence that uptake of copper to feed hair color within the hair follicle. So if you're sitting here and you have a few gray hairs or more than you can count, there are ways for you to address your copper levels. Number one, test your copper, don't guess. Let's quantify your copper. Copper is a broad range, just like iron and some of the other ranges. And so if you're on the lower side, that's not ideal. When we're testing folks, the range is broad, 62 to 140. The optimal copper level for ideal enhanced hair color, hair tone, melanin enhancement is going to be between 100 and 130 on your copper scale. So how do we enhance your copper? I like to recommend food first in our copper enhancement. Several foods that contain optimal levels of copper are shellfish, organ meats, nuts and seeds, and dark leafy veggies. And if you test your copper and you're well below 62 or you're hovering in the 80s, you might also want to supplement with a copper. Just like any of our other minerals, there's different forms. I prefer the copper glyconate. That tends to be a more bioavailable form of copper. And a two milligram dose is perfect each day to balance out your copper. Now here's a little caveat. If you're consuming multivitamins or immune boosters that have zinc in them, that also could create an imbalance in your copper levels. We have certain nutrient receptors in our small intestine that absorb zinc and copper. And sometimes those two absorption wise 
battle each other. So just know if you're taking a lot of zinc, it'll offset the quantity of copper your body's able to absorb. If you're curious about that specifically and want a video about copper and zinc, that relationship, comment in the comment box below and I will whip up a video specific to that because it's quite fascinating, those imbalances. Copper, copper tends to be a little bit weaker than zinc, and we have a lot of zinc forward supplementation in foods, and that's one of the reasons why we're seeing premature graying or folks that have gray strands that they're coloring. This protocol, these recommendations will greatly help turn over the state of your hair tone. And I can vouch for this, it's not uncommon that I will have, you know, in hair loss, I will look at a strand and have noticed that I can turn that graying or I have silver strands, they will also regain their hair color. So just know your cells are constantly changing and we can affect the copper reserves in your hair follicle to produce colored hair again. I'm so excited to share this video with you. I can't wait to see you on other videos and make sure you check out in the description box below my other videos related to hair growth and prevention of hair loss. I think you'll also find those helpful. See you on our next video.